Welcome back guys. Let's learn today what happens when we load any website in the browser. So if you load any website in the browser, first thing browser is going to do is going to load the code which is written by any programmer or a coder for your website or any other website. Now if you see on my screen, we have this website uh, and if you see some written content, images and other things and there is color, there is styling, there are gaps, uh, many other things, there are videos, all of this is done by coding. Now, if, when it comes to the website design and development, there are two major components that you have to understand. One is HTML, which is called Hypertext Markup Language. When you load any website, it's going to show you some content. For example, some text, some images, some areas, some boxes, and all of the, all some buttons and all this kind of stuff is HTML is responsible for that. The second component is CSS, which, co which is called Cascading Style Sheet. Whenever you, web you build a website and you need to style some of the things, for example, how your text is going to look like, how your uh, colors are looking like, how your spacings are looking like, it is done by CSS. So these two components you have to keep in mind while developing this website or any other website. Don't get me wrong. In my previous lectures, I told you that we are not going to write any code. And then why we are learning this HTML and CSS. This is just for your learning purposes. And you as a designer, as a developer, you should understand what goes behind the scene of any website. And uh, if you learn, if you understand this structure, then it's going to be very easy for you to understand how things work around when we develop any website. Now, the second part, let me show you how HTML and CSS works. If you, uh, the easiest way to learn and understand uh, HTML, CSS is from w3schools.com. Here on this website, you can learn many multiple uh, like languages but we're just going to focus on HTML, CSS. And let me just show you how the HTML course code is going to look like. For example, on my left side, if I zoom in a little bit, on my left side, there's an HTML code, which is consists of HTML tag starting the code, head tag title, closing a head tag, and the body tag. Whatever you are going to do, you, whatever you are going to show on the web page, it has to be between uh, the body tag. The body tag contains whatever shows uh, in front of you whenever you load the website. Now, whatever you do inside, there's a heading tag, there's a, a, a paragraph tag. And then on the right side, what this is going, whatever you uh, code that you write on the left side is going to show you some output how it's going to look on a website on the right side. You see that on the left side, there's a code, but on the right side, there's only two elements which are showing because it is written inside the body tag. And for example, this is heading. The heading is here and the paragraph tag and, uh, and, the, uh, and the paragraph tag is here. Now, sorry, just on my throat is a little dry today. So now uh, if you see that, all the code is hidden because it's just reading whatever this code is meant to do. So if I want to add one more heading, I'll just copy this one and paste one. And I'll just say it's heading two because it's going to be a bit smaller. And this closing tab, this is heading two. I'll just say this is heading two and then run this code and it's going to run this code. I, if I just add one more paragraph here and it's just say paragraph two because paragraphs are like the same. So this is HTML uh, when it comes to the content. If I want to add image button or anything here, I can add it here, it's going to show. But for example, if you have to see this website, any website like this, and it's going to be very boring. So then the CS part, CSS part come uh, inside. When you, if you want to learn CSS or understand what is CSS, you can use the same website now, if I show you some code on here, for example, on the left side, you can see here there's an HTML code, but there's also some CSS part of it. Okay, 
this part is called CSS and if I want to like uh, style anything I can style it here for example background color on the CSS part is light blue I'll just uh, change it to blue and then run the code on the right side is going to change the blue there are like two types of CSS one is inline which was previously used back in the days very behind but now they use uh, two uh, different uh, like styles for example this is CSS but this is used by a different file when you make any website there is one file called .html and then there is .css which is responsible for all of the data that you show now about W3 schools if you want to learn more about HTML CSS we are not going to use any of this in our project any coding but we will be doing uh, HTML CSS by uh, doing it visually so if you want to learn anything you can come to this website I'll just mention in my uh, mention this website in my description and you can come and learn and play around with it what uh, and learn what to do and you can just come to this page which is if we click on this HTML page and then come to HTML and HTML CSS then you will learn both ways of doing uh, the work and doing combining combining the HTML and CSS here so now let's let me show you when it comes to the web flow how things works with the web flow when we uh, how html css has been used in web flow so i have this project if i go to this navigator and on the left side you see there is one a line written called body which is one class so as i showed you before in this course in this uh, in this code that everything inside the body rest is hidden okay everything inside the body is going to show on the page so HT, uh, in, in webflow also the same thing ha is happening but it's happening behind the scene so if this body tag if I want to add element for example I'll just add it same like we did before for example if I just want to add uh, this uh, uh, h1 tag into uh, my body and I just want to write the same thing I'll just go to this add button and then I'll just drop it down to the heading. I'll just drag it and drop it here. And this is called adding. And now you can see Webflow is giving us uh, all the uh, all the op all these options visually to do it. Now this is H1 heading tag. I'll just write it. This is uh, heading. This this is heading one. And now the part comes when you want to style it when where is the CSS okay now if I want to style it on the right side I see all the options that I want to use that I have to use or I uh, I can use uh, to style all this component with the CSS for example I want to change the text color if I come down here don't worry we are going to learn all of this uh, in the in the next lectures but just for the HTML and CSS uh, if I come down here and, and then I click on the color I can change it to red and then that's it uh, we can like uh, just leave it around this and this is how things are going to work for example if I want to add one button here this is the button I can add it here now I can double click and just change the name button one and then we can just leave it here what's happening here is exactly the same thing happens here everything's written inside the box uh, but in the HTML format but Webflow is doing this for us so this is the great thing about Webflow this is it for this lecture and see you in the next video